we always look for the company that is undervalued as we get them at a discount to their intrinsic value with expectation that their price will eventually rise to reflect their true worth but how to find the undervalued companies there's a financial metric called as price to earning ratio or pe ratio that helps to evaluate a company's valuation and assess whether the stock is overvalued or undervalued it is a fundamental ratio and one of the most commonly used tools for the equity analysis the pe ratio is calculated by dividing the current market price for the company stock by its earning per share market price per share is the current trading price of one share of the company stock earning per share is a measure of a company's profitability on a per share basis The P ratio provides insights into how much investors are willing to pay for each dollar of earnings generated by a company. It can be interpreted in a few ways. High P ratio. High P ratio typically indicates that the investors have high expectations for a company's future growth and are willing to pay a premium for its stock. However, a very high P ratio might suggest that the stock is overvalued. low pe ratio a low pe ratio might indicate that the company is currently undervalued or the investors have a lower growth expectations it could also suggest that the company is experiencing a financial difficulties or is in a low growth industry comparative analysis pe ratios are most useful when compared to those of similar companies within the same industry or sector it helps in understanding how a company's valuation stack ups against its peers forward pe in addition to the standard pe ratio there is also a forward pe ratio which uses estimated future earnings instead of a trailing earnings it can provide a more forward looking perspective on a company's valuation it's important to note that the pe ratio should not be used in isolation when making investment decision it should be considered along with other financial metrics the company's growth prospects industry trends the economic conditions additionally the pe ratio does not take into account other factors like company's debt competitive position or overall market conditions so it should be used as a part of a broader analysis